Welcome back to Video Pop Vlogger's channel. In today's video, we will create the character freeze frame effect shown in the simple footage. If you want to know how to do it, keep watching the video. First, let's import a brush asset. Drag it onto the video track. Click here to enter the color editor. Adjust the temperature to the lowest and the tint to the highest. Change the brush color to yellow. Click apply to return to the main interface. At this point, this footage only has the entrance effect. Copy and paste the footage. Then, we select the second clip. Check reverse play. Then we export this clip. Next, we create a new project. Import a video clip. Place it on the video track. Drag the playhead to find a suitable position. Click this button to generate a screenshot. The system will open a folder. Import a screenshot back into Video Vlogger. Next, let's find a website that can remove the background. Isolate the character from this image. Import the isolated character image back into Video Vlogger. Then we go back to the video track. Use the split tool to cut the footage at the playhead. Delete the second half of the clip. Attach a captured screenshot to the footage. Click here to enter the color editor. Choose a mono filter. Click apply. Import the brush material we created earlier. And put it to the overlay track. Make it fit to the screen. In the inspector on the right, find blend mode. Change it to color burn. Create a new overlay track. Drag the character footage into the new track. Make it fit to the screen. Enter the color editor. Adjust the temperature and tint to the highest. Change the character to green. Click apply to return to the main interface. Drag the playhead to the point where there is no footage. Then we create a new text. Adjust the text content, font, color, and shadow. Change the text size and position. Then capture a screenshot and import it back into Video Vlogger. Create a new overlay track. Place it between the brush clip and the character footage. Import a text image. And change the blend mode to lighten. Finally, Use a ripple editor to adjust the duration of all assets to the same. Next, let's continue with the motion effects. First, select a brush clip. Enter the motion editor. Add the keyframe on the far left. And drag the playhead to the middle. Add a second keyframe. Slightly enlarge your box. Finally, add another keyframe at the end of the timeline. Shrink the box back to its original size. Now, select the character footage. Enter the motion editor as well. Add a keyframe on the far left. Make the box fit to the screen. Then drag the playhead to the middle. Make the box slightly smaller. Again, we add a keyframe at the end. Make the box fit to the screen. Similarly, let's apply the same motion effect to the text. Make the text shrink first and then enlarge it. Find the Fade and Move option. Check Fade In and Fade Out. Finally, add a suitable background music. The character freeze frame effect is complete.
Well, this is all of today's video. And if you want to know more about other intrigues or what has been going on with Video Pop Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to your subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.